guys. You conflicted. It's basic sorgonomics, sorgatron.com. Please sign up for the newsletter. Please check out our webinars and the lunch and learns coming up if you uh, want to learn how to uh, get into podcasting the right way or a way, my way, some way. Anyways, but I'm conflicted, guys. I'm so conflicted. I I am have been an advocate and a big fan of a program called Sunrise. Some of you may know it. Sunrise is a calendar application. And uh, it's a very nice calendar application. It's helped me wrap my head around my freaking calendar as it's become more and more complicated. Um, and it's been bought by Microsoft. And it's nice because it was multi-platform. It, it brought in everything. Uh, it brought in everything to my phone. It brought in everything to my Mac. It brought in everything everywhere. The only place I didn't have an app was Microsoft on Windows. But there's a nice web version of it. And I was like, great, that's awesome. Uh, people have been really impressed by when I uh, put them in there for, uh, for, for appointments or as guests on the show. And, uh, you know, you're able to put somebody's name in with the address and everything. And you're good to go. And they get this nice email that says, yeah, I'll be there. And they accept the invitation. Well, it, like I said, it's been purchased by Microsoft. And unfortunately, and this is a free thing, which should make you suspicious. If you're using a service and it's free, and you don't see how they're making money off of you or anybody else using the service, you should be suspicious and cautious. This is what we should learn by now. Google's good. They give you free stuff all the time because they run ads. And anything that's not running an ad yet will in the future or will contribute to uh, them figuring out what ads to serve you, potentially. So we have this app. It was bought by Microsoft. And already they were talking about integration with Outlook. Okay, that's fine. Just please don't touch my app. And they talked about, uh, you know, we, we got our new features coming into Outlook and Office and, and everything. That's okay. Don't touch my app. Uh, and finally, we got a notice, and I'm looking at 19, year, 19 hours ago as of this recording, uh, from TechCrunch. So this is from a Wednesday of this week. And, uh, and, and, and it looks like they are integrating more and more of those features of Sunrise into Outlook. And they will be sunsetting the application uh, when the integration completes. Uh, to me, that means uh, abandoned ship, all is lost, the end is nigh, goodbye, sunrise, uh, is my initial kind of uh, you know thing here. I'm not going to Outlook. I'm just, I don't, one, uh, my understanding of Outlook, and please correct me, I should have my wife down here conferring on this, because she's big into Outlook, because she has a... Uh, a real day job in the uh, in the uh, legal department, and uh, and they're very much integrated into Office products. And she has an off a home office uh, subscription, so she can do things the way she knows to for for our business as well. And uh, but I, I I don't need all that, and I, I I'm I'm not I'm not going for that. Uh, I <laughs> I know I sound like I sound like. I sound like the old codger, technology codger, like, I'm not going for that. You know, that's not the way we do things. You know, somehow I'm, I'm a really bad uh, uh, Sean Connery impression while we're at it, too. But um, still, uh, I just don't want to go down the office route and see and them trying to get their hooks in me. And I'm going to need a subscription all of a sudden. So it looks like Google, Google actually uh, in, in the last few months had released a uh, calendar application for iOS that is very spiffy. I know uh, both. I think both of my friends in the business uh, here uh, are, are using it for their calendaring, and it looks very spiffy. But I was very dedicated to how Sunrise did things and kind of like that and a consistency there. But they're bringing me around on this one, so I think uh, we are. I just kind of moved the Sunrise into a back space, second page of a folder. And replace that with the calendar icon. I have all the same stuff. That's great. We'll see. We'll see uh, what headaches we get as we uh, make a transition here and do that. Um, I mean, it, it is kind of nice. Everything's in the web, anyways. Everything was in the web for a sunrise, uh, but uh, it, it kind of I don't know. It's one of those things that just uh, those those nice those nice tools that just kind of disappear. You know, just as I was getting into Siri, it got bought by Apple and then shut down, and then. 
features reintegrated over years that were already there in the original version of Siri. Uh, you may hear that a lot if you listen to a lot of tech podcasts. Uh, but uh, hey, you know, this is what happens. This is the um, good for the people that came up with Sunrise. They got their payday, as it is in startups, waiting for that big fish to catch you and integrate your features. Uh, so uh, I guess, uh, t- tell me what you think. Um, what are some other applications that you are into that got purchased and shuttered by uh, uh, the big Goog or Microsoft or Facebook are usually the culprits when it comes to this? Maybe maybe an Apple, maybe something else. Um, and uh, you, what did you do? Did you find an alternative? Did you go to the service that they got integrated into, perhaps? Um, and this can't be a play for users. I, I, I don't think Microsoft needs it. <laughs> it's just a hey you're doing something cool with calendars that we weren't and i can't even understand like what other than it's a social features like meet a way to schedule meetings uh, i mean uh, what really made it so special that we wanted to do it i think i kind of liked it because it wasn't google or microsoft or apple calendars but that's my take on it. let me know sorgatron.com at sorgatron on the twitters we'll see you guys next time This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.